it's very frustrating. When we met Melvin Baker last week. It's not easy, you know, trying to start over. He didn't know when or how he'd get his stolen hot dog cart and trailer back for his business, Shorty's Hot Dogs. It was eating away at me like for the last, you know, eight days. So I was just trying to keep my faith. On Wednesday, his faith and vigilance paid off. Melvin got an anonymous tip through Facebook that led him to Mount Scott and this house on Southeast Lexington Street. Behind the fence was Melvin's property, among other things. Real shady. I mean, I kind of felt like Magnum P.I., you know, for a minute, you know, just doing all the investigating and, you know, following up on tips. Magnum, er, Melvin called police. Officers helped him recover his trailer. Then they called several others whose property they found, like this John Deere Gator. It's not necessarily in the shape that we had left it in, but uh, it's nice to get it back. Travis McLean works for Dennis's 7Ds. He says someone stole the gator from their construction site at Willamette National Cemetery. I don't know how long he's been snatching stuff up, but uh, there was quite the variety of stuff. There was a, a line of people taking stuff home when we got here. Hey, we really appreciate it. Police tell us they're investigating the case, but haven't arrested anyone. Melvin's just glad so many others got their valuables back, too. If you're a thief, it doesn't pay, you know, to try to do people wrong because it'll catch up with you sooner or later. You know, karma, karma catch up with you every time. Or Melvin will. Melvin P.I. <laughs>